faculty interested in participating and helping with the CT assessment project uh, here at UMA. This is the third installment of a video commentary. Uh, the third uh, topic is the actual embedding of the extra credit opportunity in your course. And as I noted earlier, uh, I want to talk about this with you and and with organizing it in terms of the three tasks um, that the uh, instructor will need to address. The good news is the first task you're already doing, which is to say becoming familiar with um, the actual uh, test itself and the design of this assessment study. Uh, the second task task is the actual embedding and this as I mentioned in an earlier commentary this would occur either uh, or should say both ideally um, at the beginning uh, of a semester uh, ideally this would be included in one syllabus and on blackboard and so forth as a standard extra credit option um, in practice, we certainly are aware of the fact that time is short, and we've probably gotten this to you late as far as embedding it in your course for this semester. That being said, uh, we hope it can be done, we believe it can be done, and we want to help you do it if you're interested in participating. Uh, material about the opportunity uh, we can provide to you in terms of descriptions that we uh, put in our syllabus. We can also provide to you uh, letters uh, to interested students. Uh, in my own course, I do include this uh, in Blackboard uh, in the syllabus area as an extra credit option. And I certainly encourage students to partake of it as a way of uh, learning about critical thinking, but also experiencing what it's like to be in an actual research project um, as a subject. So there are a number of ways in which this can be framed depending upon the, the content of your course, your own priorities in the course, and your view of the amount of emphasis or salience you want to put upon uh, participating in research. So uh, by all means, uh, feel free to uh, ask. Uh, matter of fact, you don't even have to ask. We'll post it in the uh, Blackboard archive, the, a template uh, letter to students, as well as a description of the critical thinking experience as an extra credit option. Hopefully you'll take a look at this. Uh, if you want, I can send it to you as an attachment to email, uh, and you'll take a look at it and tailor it to your needs and your interests uh, in this opportunity. So that, that has to do with embedding at the beginning. I would, would suggest, certainly up to you, but I would suggest this might be worth uh, a bit of discussion as an extra credit option uh, should you be interacting with your students in real time. I know some of us in the spring will be teaching in class and others in an asynchronous mode. So uh, it can be discussed, as it were, orally with students in, in a variety of ways depending upon the uh, modality in which you're teaching this semester. The second part um, is certainly to try and identify which students are interested and then uh, giving them the letter and helping to troubleshoot as they access the online experience. Uh, some faculty are going to do this, I understand, by taking a group of students to a computer lab and doing it in real time. Others, like myself, will rely upon video and asynchronous methods uh, to introduce students and walk them through the access uh, steps themselves. Problems can and always do arise in points of confusion or misunderstanding. Uh, I recommend that they first contact you, but of course, if you want them to contact myself, or Professor Lorian Lake Corral uh, directly, 
we can troubleshoot with students, answer questions by email, even by phone if need be. Uh, and we'll CC you on email and uh, try and keep everyone in the loop as far as uh, what we're telling uh, students. Um, as the uh, semester unfolds, again, this extra credit option could be uh, done by students at any point in the semester, being that it's online. Uh, reminders uh, as they go through the semester, and you're familiar with all of that kind of, of uh, uh, logistical uh, technique. At the, uh, the summation of the student's experience when they finish the test, as I mentioned earlier, they will receive a uh, printed set of results. Uh, these will be basically uh, an overall uh, uh, California Critical Thinking Skills uh, Ability uh, Total Score as well as I believe it is seven scaled scores that are combined to make up the total scores. Those scores will be reported to students in the form of percentiles uh, not in terms of absolute score results. Um, so interpreting that, those percentiles essentially are derived from national samples. They are not percentiles within your class per se. Uh, copies of a student report uh, we'll put in the, uh, in the uh, uh, CT project archive in Blackboard and the faculty website for you to look over. Happy to discuss with you as the semester unfolds. And I, I don't I haven't found it to be problematic. Uh, I think the worst case scenario and one that I'm keenly sensitive to is certain students will be uh, worried about what appear to be quote low scores unquote or abnormal scores or scores that they misinterpret as grade scores when in fact they're not. Uh, they're percentile scores. So these kinds of concerns are ones that we want to make sure that we process with students uh, and as well if students uh, certainly want to discontinue their experience uh, you'll see in the letter to students that as a part of the informed consent it's very clear that they can withdraw from the experience at any point with absolutely no penalty of any kind and some students will do that uh, as they're taking the test online uh, for various reasons uh, they may not complete it Again, these are not problems. These are just uh, variances in students' experience. Uh, it shouldn't be dealt with as problems, in my view. So uh, processing with students who are interested or processing with students as a group, we've done both of those, and both are quite doable and at times productive, depending on your goals and objectives, your, your interests in, in, in embedding this opportunity. Uh, and then at the end of the semester, uh, if you would like to look at the aggregate data with us for your students or for the cohort as a whole, uh, we'll be more than happy to do that with you. Uh, given that this is a formative and not a summative uh, study, it's exploratory really, um, your thinking about it and response to either the individual student records or the aggregate data will be uh, more than welcome. It will be appreciated. So to summarize, uh, the three things uh, a faculty member should do, in my view, to be adequately prepared um, is to listen to these videos, uh, ideally to test drive by taking the test yourself, and then to think through the actual logistics of embedding the uh, extra credit opportunity in your course, uh, both in setting the expectations early on and in then processing the experience of students as well as their results. Hope that's helpful to you, um, and I'll conclude this uh, commentary at this point.